Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this Mobius um, wrap or infinity scarf or whatever you want to call it. Now this can be made to fit any size of a person easily uh, just by adjusting the chain. And I'll tell you the multiple how to do that. So what this is, is it has the twist built into it. So you see that? So this part will go around your shoulders. And then it, you know, like you've seen in the picture. So to take your measurement of your, of your, uh, what you want to fit yourself, if you're wanting to do the Mobius strap, you wrap it around the top of your shoulders and all the way around your um, front side, a little bit loose, you know, not extremely, extremely tight. So like right at the top of your shoulders, all the way around to the front, and that's the chain measurement that you take. Um, otherwise, mine will probably fit um, like a small like you've seen um but you know i'll give you the multiple so you can make more chains if you want or it looks great i think it looks great as an infinity scarf now if you want it wider of course you just do more rows more rows makes it wider so you can make it as wide as you want um i like it like i said a lot as an infinity scarf myself but i know a lot of people like the mobius wrap too so you could do it either either way so this is what it looks like has the twist built into it the twist is very easy to do i gotta tell some tails to hide but but yeah it's, it's very easy to if you know how to single and double you'll be able to do this so let's go ahead and get started on it all well actually let me measure mine first so i can tell you the size that mine is so this is what it looks like here spread out here and i'll give you a quick measurement across um so now it's folded here so across yeah it's 21 inches so actually all the way around it'd be about uh 42 and that's about what my i measured across my shoulders to the front um when i measured myself um but you know that's how you want to measure it and then width wise let me flip it it's, mine's not real wide I could have went wider I guess but it's 12 inches wide 12 and a half okay let's go ahead and do this I like it I think it's beautiful so for this project I use the uh, Caron lava cakes now you don't have to use this yarn you, you know you don't you can use any any yarn that you want but this is a medium weight number four yarn you can use a different weight if you want because I'm going to give you the multiple and you and you're going to chain to fit around your shoulders um, and that's how it's going that's how you uh, measure to fit any size that you want but I use a medium weight number four the color I use is called Stormfront. now this is an 80 acrylic 20 wool blend it's 457 yards here I use about four, almost an entire cake so almost so about 400 yards for mine but remember so if you want to make yours uh bigger than mine as far as uh, going around the shoulders or any or you want to make it like wider like it goes down further in your body you'll need more yarn than that okay and then um, i'm going to be using a a size j which is a six millimeter crochet hook now if you're going to be using a three weight i'd probably recommend maybe an, a five and a half millimeter um something like that or if you're going to be using a bulky probably like a six and a half but i'm using a j now if you want to follow along with me i chained 131 stitches but if you want to make yours bigger and smaller it just needs to be a multiple of three that's it so that means that your beginning chain needs to be evenly divisible by three so we're going to make I'm going to chain 131 for mine. You chain, uh, if you want to follow along with me, that's fine. If you want to make yours bigger, multiple of three. And then we're going to make one large ring out of it. So, all right, I'm going to show you on a smaller scale. So once you get your chain made, what you want to do is follow it down without twisting it. And we're going to slip stitch into our first stitch to form a ring. It'll be one large ring. Mine's a little smaller because I'm doing it on a smaller scale. But it's going to be one large ring. We're going to slip stitch like that. Now we are going to chain one. And we're going to go right back into that same spot that we just slip stitched into. 
and we're going to work a single crochet. Now we're going to work around and we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch until we get back around to our starting point. Just like this. So one single in every stitch, all the way around until we get right back here. All right, so I've made it back around and if you're following along with me, you should still have 131 stitches. So whatever amount you chained in your multiple of three is what you should still have. So now we're going to create the twist and this is very easy. So we're not, I'm not gonna slip stitch. What I'm gonna do, you see this? I'm at the end. Right here is my first single crochet. I'm going to take my chain and flip it backwards like that. And now I'm gonna work around putting one single crochet in every stitch on the bottom of my chain. So I didn't, I didn't slip stitch or anything. I can pull my tail over there. So I, all I did was flip to my chain and that creates the twist. You see that twist down there? You can see it already created. So I'm just gonna start again by putting one single crochet in every stitch until I make it back around again. I'm just working on the bottom of the chain now. So it's already got its twist now. It's all done. The twist part is done. Now it's just creating the stitches to make it wider. So I'll continue around putting one single crochet in every stitch here all the way around until I get back over here. I'll actually end up right back over here on the top because it, since it twists, it goes around and it's like magic. It comes right back up over here. All right, I've made it back around and you can see the twist in it now. So I'm right back here at the top. So what we have done is we did the row of single crochet and then we twisted our work and we did the row of single crochet on the bottom of the chain and now we're back at the top of the chain. So now we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first single crochet. Just like that. So if you look, remember mine's small on a smaller scale, but there's the, there's the twist. Your chain is twisted. That's the twist of the Mobius scarf or cowl or whatever. Shawl. Infinity scarf. Okay, now we're going to start again. We are going to chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to go right, right back into that very first stitch there that we just slip stitched into. And we're going to work a V stitch. So a V stitch is going back into that same stitch and we're going to work a double crochet, a chain of one, and go back into it again and work another double crochet, just like that. Now we're going to skip two stitches. Skip, skip, and to the next one, we're going to work a V stitch. So I'm skipping my two, skip, skip, next one, go in and work a double crochet, a chain one, and another double crochet. And this is what we're going to repeat all the way around. So skip two, skip, skip, and then the next one, we work a V stitch. So we go in and we work a double, a chain one, and a double. Repeat. We skip two, skip, skip, and in the next we v-stitch. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. So we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around. Skipping two and v-stitching. Skipping two and v-stitching. And what it's going to do is it's going to take you all the way around through the twist and then all the way around the bottom and back to where you started. So it's going to be 
take you, bring you right back here. But it's going to take you through that entire twist, okay? So it, it'll be kind of a long row because you're going on top of the chain that we worked. And also, you'll go underneath it at the same time and then back around to your starting point. Does that make sense? So you're right here. You'll go all the way on top. But since you twist right here, you'll go underneath the two. And then you'll go back to your twist again, which will take you back to the top. And that's where you'll end up. All right. So let's just continue that pattern. Skip two, skip, skip, and V-stitch into the next. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip two, skip, skip, V-stitch into the next. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And I'm going to continue this pattern all the way around through my twists until I make it right back here to where I started. All right, I've made it back around my entire twist there. You can see it's twisted like it's supposed to be. I went around, I just followed the whole round and it took me around the top and the bottom like it's supposed to. Now I'm back at my starting point and I have two stitches left. I wanna go ahead and skip those two stitches and end by slip stitching into the first double crochet of my first V stitch. And that will end, um, Row three, I believe that is what we just, that we just finished. Okay, so row four is the repeat row for the whole pattern. So it's very easy. We're just gonna keep repeating this row that we're getting ready to start. And we're gonna repeat it until we get it as big as we want it to be. So this is how we start it. We slip stitch one time into this chain one space of the first V stitch. And then we chain one. And we go back into this V stitch, the chain one space, and we work a V stitch. So we double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And then we go over to the chain one space of the next V-stitch, and we work a V-stitch into it. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Again, jump to your next V-stitch and work a V-stitch into the chain one space. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And this is what we're gonna repeat all the way around. A V-stitch in the chain one space of every V-stitch from the previous row. And it would be pretty long, because remember you're gonna, the twist is gonna take you all the way across uh, the top and then all the way around the bottom. See, I'm putting a V-stitch in the chain one space of every V-stitch. So, I'll continue that. What it's gonna, what it's gonna do, I'll continue doing that, and it's going to take me across the top here and through the twist. And once I get down here through the twist, I'll be working on the bottom and I'll follow that around and then it'll take me back up to the top again, right back up to my starting point. So I'm going to continue this pattern working one V stitch in the chain one space of the V stitch from the previous row. All right, I have made it all the way around. You can see my piece is still twisted like it's supposed to be. So. You can see there's two rows of V stitches on each side because here's my single crochet rows. So on each side of the chain, there are two rows of V stitches as there should be. So we're going to go ahead and end this row, this round by slip stitching into the first double crochet of our first V stitch. And that is what we're going to repeat from now on what we just did. So we'll st slip stitch one time. We're just going to repeat. We're on round five now, I believe. Um, we're going to repeat the row we just did. So we slip stitch one time to the chain space of the first V stitch, chain one, and go right back into it and work a V stitch. Jump over here to your next V stitch and work a V stitch into the chain one space. 
again and as you work you might have to keep uh, untwisting it that's what I do I work along and as I get to the twisted part I'll tw untwist it up like that again that keeps me kind of keeps it straight for me because sometimes the twist can get in the way but yeah this is what we're going to repeat from now on working a v stitch in the chain one space of every v stitch from the previous row and we're going to keep doing rounds and rounds of this until we get it as wide as we want it to be and that really depends on the person if you want yours longer you do more rounds than i did i just did mine till my like i said mine was about 12 and a half inches I actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rounds of these stitches on each side of my piece. And here is the row of single crochet that's in between. And here's my twist. So if you want yours to go to be an infinity scarf, you know, this would probably be a great size. If you want yours to be a longer Mobius wrap, you might want to just keep going, adding rows and rows because every time you go around one time remember it's going on top of the chain and the bottom of the chain so both sides will grow at the same time it'll just keep getting longer on both sides until you get it to your desired size that's it i think it turned out cool i'll tell you what i really like that caron lava that lava cake it's a very very nice yarn highly recommended from bag of a day I like it a lot. So I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button if you liked it. If you were able to follow along, okay. Check me out on Instagram. Hashtag me on Bag of Day Crochet. And show me what you're working on. Anything. Crochet. Knit. Whatever. I like to see it all. And always you can come check out my vlog channel. It's pretty cool there. We go places and do stuff. And um, Put a link to that below in the description box. But until next time, have a good day. Uh, and stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye, guys.